Hi there, I'm Chris Catley, one of the engineers here at Van Horn Aviation. I'm Winona Castrillo in sales. And we're here to talk today about Service Bulletin 33000-4. Hey Chris, how you doing? Good, how's it going Winona? I'm good, do you have a minute? Sure, come on in. Thanks. So hey, I have a copy of our service bulletin here which um, is for some of our long range or main rotor blades and some customers have been asking me some questions about it. Can you tell me a little bit more about the service bulletin? We discovered that some of our long ranger blades have the potential to develop delaminations around the weight receptacle area. You said some of the long ranger blades, which ones? Uh, up through serial number A104. Okay, what happened after A105? After A105, we incorporated a design change to eliminate this condition. And this is for Long Ranger only, or does it affect the Jet Ranger blades? Long Ranger only. The Jet Ranger blades are a different construction, so they are not susceptible to this condition. Well, uh, one of the most important questions is, are, are the blades safe? Absolutely. We've done extensive fatigue testing to demonstrate that there is no immediate safety concern, and most likely, uh, customers will realize the full service life of their blades. So what do customers have to do with the service bulletin? What are they required to do? So we're asking customers to do periodic tap test inspections in the area around the weight receptacle to check for delaminations and monitor their growth. I happen to have one of our fatigue test specimens here. This is obviously not a real blade, but it simulates uh, the blade in the area of the weight pocket. So this is the weight receptacle and weight pocket cutout. Uh, this is the carbon fiber spar and skins, and this is the leading edge abrasion strip. So what we found in fatigue testing is that this delamination starts uh, right near the inboard corner of the weight pocket uh, and then progresses outboard slowly over time. Well, you have a tap hammer there. Can you show me on this uh, this testing model what customers do to do the tap test? Sure, so what we're asking customers to do is tap along the length uh, essentially of the weight pocket, uh, preferably with a tap hammer, and start from the outboard end and work your way inboard. Uh, that way you're starting from uh, a known good area and then you'll hear the tone change as I go inboard over the delaminated area. So you might have noticed that right in this area it went from a solid tone to a more flat uh, buzzing like sound. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can hear that. And if I go back and forth, you can kind of gauge about where it starts. So somewhere okay. kind of right about there is where the delamination uh, starts coming from this end. So we would say that that delamination is about two inches long. Now, how often do customers need to perform this tap test? Uh, we're asking customers to perform this every 400 flight hours. That was really cool. I'm glad you showed me that. Do we have an actual main rotor blade we can do the top test on as well? Yeah, we have one in the back we can go take a look at. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Chris, so here we are in the shop and we have the 206L Long Ranger main rotor blade. Um, we're looking at the bottom of the blade to start our top test for the service bulletin. Uh, can you tell us how we would get started? Sure, so like you said, we're looking at the lower surface of the blade. Uh, this is the tip end here and your weight pocket cover. So we're gonna be measuring uh, 36.1 inches from the tip, uh, which on the lower surface, this is really easy because 36.1 inches should be right in line with the inboard end of your weight pocket cover. And then we're going seven inches outboard from there, which should be right in line with the outboard end of your weight pocket cover. We're tapping from the outboard end of this area to the inboard end. We do that specifically so that we have a known good area at the outboard end because we know the delamination starts from the inboard end. Yeah, so I'm gonna start here at the outboard end and like I said, you'll hear a nice solid tone again as I work my way inboard and I listen for the tone change right as I cross the, the uh, crosshatched area here. You'll hear a more flattened, deadened tone, uh, kind of a buzzing sound, but it should be pretty clear. So you hear right in that area, it goes from this solid sound to this buzzing sound. So that's all we're trying to do is determine right where that starts 
And right there is about the length of, of your delamination. Uh, can an operator do this inspection with the blade installed on the helicopter? Or what kind of conditions do they need to get the best results? We strongly recommend taking them off the helicopter so that you can put it on an ice flat surface and preferably be in a quiet area so you can you can really hear the tone changes without a lot of background noise. Now when a customer does this tap test, if they do find such a delamination, what should they do next? So there's a form at the back of the service bulletin that we ask operators to fill out to note the length of the delamination and the number of hours on the blades and a few other items and send that information into us. That way we can track these delaminations for the whole population of blades, make sure there's not any anomalies um, make sure that everything looks consistent and, and keep everybody uh, flying safe. Now, uh, it was pretty clear to me hearing the sound of that tap right now, but what, what should an operator do if they're not sure if they are hearing a delamination or not? Sure. So, um, what some operators have done and, and works really well is just to take a video with your camera phone or whatever you have available of you doing the tap test exactly like we showed it here and set it into us and let us give it a give a listen. Um, usually it's really easy to hear where it changed and, and we can help help show you where, where that's occurring and, and what to listen for. And again, for the service bulletin, this tap test needs to be performed every 400 hours. Correct. So the last thing I would just re-emphasize is that the blades are absolutely safe to continue flying. We've done extensive testing, which has been reviewed by the FAA. Uh, there is no safety of flight concern here. The delamination grows very slowly and be, can be reliably uh, inspected for and monitored as it grows to make sure you stay uh, within safe limits.